You know, when I heard that there was going to be a new Ninja Turtle game, I was excited. I loved the Ninja Turtles. I collected all the toys. I had these toys since I was little. I played, me and my brother played the games for hours. I remember having this one, never beat this one. Got this as an adult, but this one especially, me and my brother played for hours. Love the third Nintendo game. So, when I heard there was another game coming out, I was ecstatic. I was like, oh, cool. PS4, just got a PS4, gonna get the Ninja Turtle game, you know. Their toys have been so cool and awesome. Their next game has to be awesome. It's PS4, new generation. Let's do this, right? Maybe not so much. The game starts out great. It's fun, it's enjoyable, it's funny. The graphics seem to be great. Everything is all fun in the very first couple of levels. You get to fight Bebop. Great right in the first level, his fight scene is awesome, it's hilarious, everything is great. Then you get Rocksteady in the next level, another amazing fight scene. And then you get uh, some kind of shark, um, and you get a man bat, the graphics start going downhill, and it becomes one giant dance party, and things start to get a little weird. But most of the game, you're either having a dance party, or you're running on this ball. And then at the end of the game, you have to refight all the bosses all over again. It's extremely repetitive. There are some funny scenes going on, and but not enough. And all the funny scenes are very, again, repetitive. And then there comes the Shredder fight. At first, you're in a huge elevator. You're just going up, up, up. More dance scenes, more of the same shuriken throws that you, we all know from the whole game that we've been doing the entire time. And finally, you get to the top where you finally meet Shredder, and you finally fight him, and it's fun. It's not a long game, but it's awesome finally fighting Shredder. It's not that hard of a game, and the graphics here are even really cool, the whole background of everything moving. But really, you're just throwing shurikens the whole time. If you can figure out how to dodge and do that, that's fantastic. But after you beat Shredder, here's the problem the game ends that's it there's nothing else the game just ends out of nowhere there's nothing else to do and i guess there's some kind of secret to get the mega shredder level overall this game is pretty disappointing to me as a ninja Turtle fan i really like the artwork i like how the artwork is kind of like the comic books um it's just missing so much and it's really repetitive and it's just a game i would say go rent if you like ninja Turtle games go rent it play it it's fun at first and then after you beat the game there's really nothing to do and also the fact that the mega shredder uh fight is a hidden fight is there so you can't finish the story unless you do all this other crap completely threw me off i found out there's other things like you can do a bebop and rocksteady fight in the bank and i just it's just a, a bummer for me guys go run it and play it but i would i wouldn't say waste my money on buying it so for now, that's my review, and uh, always guys, stay nerdy.